What is up, Dan fam, and welcome to today's video. And today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can go from zero to $500 or more per day on Shopify, following three simple and very easy to follow steps. And if you nail these steps down, you're gonna have a lot of success as well in any future Shopify ventures that you get into. <laughs> What is up, Dan fam, and welcome to today's video. And today, we're gonna to be talking about how you can go from zero to $500 or more per day on Shopify, following three simple and very easy to follow steps. And if you nail these steps down, you're gonna have a lot of success as well in any future Shopify ventures that you get into. So let's dive into it right now. So the very first thing that I wanna talk about is right over here, okay? So as you can tell, step one is find what everybody is raving about, basically a trend. So trends, you gotta keep in mind, that they are a little bit harder to spot if you don't know exactly what to look for. However, if you keep an eye on social media, if you keep an eye on, you know, more so what the top sellers are on like Amazon, for example, or rising stars in Amazon, you're gonna be able to see kind of trends before they come. So, and again, it's not, it's not anything bad if you don't, uh, you know, if you don't actually hit a trend from the very beginning, you can just piggyback once a trend like the fidget spinners. I know a lot of people that made fidget spinners a year into the trend being a really hot thing. So essentially, what you wanna do is be able to, if you can spot the trend, that's going to be very, very good. For example, one of the trends that's happening right now is like one of those fingerlings thing, finger, I don't know what they're called. They're like monkeys that attach to your fingers for some reason, and it's like a toy. And those things are, are like a super, super hot trend that's just gonna keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. What fidget spinners were, or kind of are still to a point, that's what these fingerlings are. Uh, and I don't even know exactly how to, how to pronounce them, right? Fingerlings, finger links, I, I don't know what they are. But essentially, it's just like this little this little toy that attaches to your finger, and I know somebody right now who has thousands of units that they're, they're just selling like like clockwork. And I see uh, I had somebody a friend of mine from LA the other day. She she called me. And she was like, "I have a really good idea for you." I was like, "What is it?" She was like, "I think you should sell these fingerling things." And I was like, "I'm way ahead of you. I've already been talking to some people about it." So again, that's a that's another trend that is coming up right now. I don't know if anybody has seen it yet, but I definitely do some research. So let me open up um, Google right now just to go and see if we can find you know something about it. So here's here's fingerlings. Um, let's see if they have on anything on like AliExpress, because this is just like I thought. You know this this like little monkey that's attached to your finger, which is kind of weird, I think. So here we go. Click search. Um, so this is like a set. Uh, this is like this is different. So let's just see here. Interesting. Baby colorful finger monkey. So, I know they're going really, really cheap on, on Alibaba.com. So, just again, make sure you're doing your research on this. They are they are increasing in popularity day by day. So, right over here, five dollars eighty cents to eight dollars a piece. These are fidget spinners. This one's uh, this one's pretty cool. But the only thing that's throwing me off is that you know Walmart has it for 15 bucks, and um, let's see, I don't even know what store this is. Dress Link is for 20 bucks. Novelty Gadgets, 20 bucks. That's the only thing that's really throwing me off. So if you have, um, if you have a good supplier with the profit margins, there out of stock. Okay, so they're all out of stock over here. Um, so yeah, this this tells me that it's definitely in demand. Let's just see what Amazon has, okay? See if there's anything with Amazon, if they're even on Amazon. Um, but again, it seems like, you know, even if you're picking it up for $5.50 a piece, uh, it's, or one to $3 a unit, um, really, really, really good profit margins if you can, and they're gonna be selling like crazy right now. So let's just take a look at Fingerlings, what we have over here. So this one over here is $44.63. Uh, Forty-five dollars. Okay, so they're selling for a decent amount. Uh, it just so happens that Walmart and, and those sources, the other stores, um, might have been might have been on sale or something. But essentially, let's take a look at this one right over here. Uh, wow, you fingerling interactive baby unicorn Gigi um, for eighty bucks. Two left. Right over here, we have right at the top on AliExpress anywhere from six dollars 
um, up to twenty dollars. If you, I guess, if you want the set and whatnot. So if you want the set, all right, uh, it can be thirteen dollars. If you just want the, uh, if you just want the unicorn, fifteen dollars. But you can sell it for like sixty, seventy, eighty dollars. So again, it's it's definitely something you want to you know take a look at. And this is a trend that's up and coming. Now. To also spot other trends, you can also go ahead and take a look at customers who bought this item also bought. You, this is one of the best ways to find um, you know, a lot of trendy stuff that's up and coming is if you go ahead and see what customers also bought. Like, uh, what is this over here? Um, 67 Hitachi co Collectibles. I don't know, co Collectibles? I don't know what this is. Um, so let's just see if there's even anything in here. So again, this is how you're going to be doing your research. It's pretty, pretty dang simple. Let's see if, let's see if there's anything. So collectibles over here, thirteen dollars and twenty cents for a carton. Uh, this one's selling for twenty dollars over here. It doesn't seem like there's that big of a margin. Um, but again, I don't. Oh, that's on. That's also on Alibaba. Um, so you can definitely get it for cheaper. So let's take a look at AliExpress. We're gonna run a search if it's even on here. Um, so, okay, so we have a, a lot. This one's 885. Let's see if there's any like cartons or anything. Just seems like there's no cartons over here. Um, but again, you can do, you know, you can run a lot of different uh, research. You can do a lot of different research over here. I'm just looking through this just to see, because uh, this, is, this is new to me. So over here, again, this is, this is one that's 79.78. Um, surprise PCAT. This is interesting. So let me just move this over here. Um, yeah, these are really interesting to me. I mean, there's clearly a market for this. Uh, you know, it's just, you definitely can advertise for this as well. So it's pretty interesting what we have over here. So customers who also, um, who bought this also bought, let's see, also viewed as well is another great one. Um, also bought, I don't know what, why it's not showing me more. Should have let you scroll through. But that's how you kind of do your preliminary research over here is you find what people are talking about, see what people are buying, spot new trends that are gonna be coming up and really piggyback off of hopefully being the first into the trend. Very, very powerful as well. So step number two is creating a store that runs itself. So how do you do that exactly? Well, let's go back to my computer. So if we use something like Oberlo, right? You use something like Oberlo, it's going to help you automate the importing of products from a company like AliExpress. And then you're gonna use something like MailFunnels to go out there and create an email sequence, a post-sale sequence for when somebody actually purchases. Don't forget, these are higher priced products. So somebody who's spending, let's just say 50, 60, 70, $80 on one single item in your store, you wanna keep following up with them. Especially with kids' toys and whatnot, the parents are more inclined to purchase more things for their you know, kids or grandparents for their, um, you know, for their grandson, granddaughter. So again, it's very, very important to hit them with those email post-sale sequences. You wanna make sure you have that. So when you're building out a store, make sure you have the necessary apps. We've talked about this in various different videos on how to create post-sale sequences and all that fun stuff, but essentially, you wanna go out there and create a store that runs itself. And if you haven't yet watched the themes video that I put out a few days ago, you wanna watch that because again, having a theme set up for your store is very, very important, especially to increase conversions. So again, like I said, Oberlo is free. Um, Mail Funnels isn't so much free. I mean, they have a free trial that you can use. Um, you definitely want to get situated with a company like Overlow, Mail Funnels, and if you want to create, you know, product funnels, try funnels as well. Uh, so again, just kind of keep that in mind right now. You want to have a store that automates everything for you, whether that's with emails or whether that's with product fulfillment or whether that's with creating funnels. And if you have everything automated for you, it becomes a lot easier for you to scale up and add more products in and create different funnels and whatnot. So that's a major, major key that not really anybody talks about is yeah, creating a store is different than creating a store that automates and runs itself. If you're not able to create a store that, you know, that, that runs itself, it's going to be a lot um, it's going to be a lot of work for you and more than likely your time to money ratio isn't going to be worth it for you. So you want to set up a foundation of a store that runs itself, you know, using apps like Oberlo and mail funnels and tri funnels and whatnot to go out there and really help you create a store that runs itself. So let's talk about step number three now. Step number three is once you have like this little trend that you want to piggyback off of and you think it's going to be working, what I suggest you do is you test with influencer shout outs first. Now, why am I not going to Facebook right away? Because when it comes down to a trend, uh, piggybacking off of a trend, you don't know if it's going to work 100% just by going out there and targeting, you know, cold traffic on Facebook. Now, you have to go out there and really target people that have a warmer traffic base 
and influencers gives you the ability to go and advertise to kids a lot easier. So it gives you the ability to target pages and, and you know toy review pages in this case to go and target your exact demographic of kids that you want and they'll send it to their parents and whatnot. And if you can convert them on Instagram, then it's going to be a lot easier to go ahead and convert um, to convert sales on Facebook targeting an older crowd. Because just remember, you know when it comes down to this more than anything, you know this toy is 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 probably aged around seven to 13 years old maybe, or maybe like six to 10 years old. So when you're going out there, you can't use Facebook to target six to 10 year olds. Now again, there's no company out there that's going to allow you to target six to 10 year olds because it's not legal. Um, uh, there's rules and regulations that allow you to target up to after a certain age. And I'm pretty sure it's like 16 maybe. Um, but again, don't quote me on that. I just know that there's regulations and laws in place where you can't go out and get a minor's information if they're under the age of 16, 13, so one of those ages. Um, so essentially, you're not allowed to target them on Facebook. So it's going to be a lot easier for you to use influencers and really go out there and get your data back. Plus, and that was just a very specific, um, you know, that was a very, very specific in regards to the product that I just showed you. However, influencers have a warmer traffic type of feel. And if you can't convert that influencer warm traffic into sales with something that's gonna be potentially trendy or is trending, you're gonna have a very hard time convincing cold traffic to purchase from you. So if you can't get somebody who is you know, in love with this one person, this one influencer, to buy when they say, hey, you should buy this, then you're not gonna have an easy time going and convincing somebody who's never heard about you and you're interrupting their pattern, their their day-to-day -day activities on Facebook. So it's gonna be a lot harder for you to convert them. So again, that's how you're gonna go out there. This is three very simple steps. Do not overcomplicate it because once you start getting sales, you have proof of concept on step number three. Step number four is actually gonna be to go out and roll it out into Facebook ads and start getting sales from there. So again, in this video, like I said, I wanted to cover something very, very simple on how to go out there and literally from a brand new store, you don't even have a niche idea what you can do to go out there. Step number one is find something that's gonna be trendy. Go and just create a store that automates itself. And then from then on out, what you can do is go ahead and use influencers to start driving sales and get proof of concept that it actually works. So those are the three steps that I suggest. And again, Dan fam, if you haven't yet done so, click the subscribe button and get notifications because again, we're giving away stuff every single day on every single video. So you wanna make sure that you're one of the first people here watching these videos so you can get qualified and you can go ahead and get all the free, you know, cool stuff that we're getting. One person on every single video, the first person to comment that secret code in the video is going to get our free gift of the day. So right now, if you haven't done so yet, Click on the subscribe button, okay? That's, you know, I'm asking you right now. I'm telling you to do this. You don't wanna be like behind. You wanna be like those other people, those, you know, thousands and thousands of people that are subscribed to me but don't have notifications for some reason. You don't wanna be like them because those are the people that get left behind. Those are the people that are gonna end up not making any type of money because unfortunately they're not in the know of what's working right now. I'm doing something every single day. There's a new video every day. The reason for that is because I wanna make sure you have what it takes to go ahead and achieve the financial freedom that you want. Achieve the results that you want if it's not financial freedom, right? So essentially, right now, click subscribe. Do not be left in the dark with information that you need to know about. And to get the information you need to know about, make sure you're here every single day, 5.30 p.m. Eastern time, we're releasing that new video. So again, subscribe, turn on notifications, don't get left behind because again, you don't wanna be that guy or gal who gets left behind. That's pretty dark place to be left behind, all right? So again, my name is Dan DeSilva, Dan Fam Notification Squad. I will see you guys tomorrow.